it appears that Nick Sandman had to uh, finally settle his lawsuit at age 18. At the age 18. I think his birthday is today. Friday, July 24th. He was 16 years old when early last year he met Nathan Phillips face to face and he couldn't move out of the way. I guess he has the right to stand there and just stare at him or something like that, not doing anything, which, which I still don't know why he wouldn't move for some reason. I think he should have learned about the Native American history first and foremost before he stands his ground in the middle of his way. While Nathan Phillips was protesting in the middle of where he is walking by. But, yeah. He sued the Washington Post officially today. He filed a $250 million defamation lawsuit against them. And... Now he has six more to go. Now he's thinking about suing Twitter, which he adds the CEO of Twitter. He tweeted, We have settled with Wapo and CNN. The fight is another two down, six to go. Don't hold your breath, Jack. And you know what? I still... I still stand my ground, as I saw from last year, that maybe he shouldn't have... have have a stand there, and he should have moved out of the way. Like he said in that interview with Savannah and Guffrey, he should have uh, moved out of the way, or at least taken a bus by going to another bus stop, another uh, area to wait for the bus. And the fact that he didn't do that is one of the reasons why he stood up and stared at Nathan Phillips, who's in the middle of of a walking protest. But you know what? At the end of the day, I think If he wants to sue the media or the journalists or Twitter for defamation of character, go on ahead and waste all your money, Nicholas Sandman, or his lawyers. Go on ahead and do that. But I still think it was wrong of you to just stand there, stand there idly instead of waiting where the bus is supposed to be. If you would have waited, you wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. And you wouldn't have to sue. You would just kept all your college savings and be done with it. 